Well, thank you all so much for your time today. We are thrilled to be here with Kelly from Rainbow Days as we talk about her organization, the impact of toys and play, and how uh, the upcoming donations we have from the Toy Foundation um, can help influence her and her team. Um, so to introduce myself, I'm Ann Carryhill. I lead the toys and entertainment business at Amazon. And I'm here with Taylor Mason, who is our marketing leader. And we are just thrilled to be able to hear more about this fantastic organization. We are so, so passionate about kids and play and excited to get the word out on Rainbow Days and this fantastic organization, um, as well as just so proud to support the Toy Foundation and all the work that gets done on behalf of kids. And so I'll kick it over to Kelly for a short intro, and then we're looking forward to asking her a bunch of questions. Hello, everyone. My name is Kelly Worsvinsky, I'm also known as Miss Kit Kat, and I've been at Rainbow Days for over 28 years. Uh, my program, Family Connection, works with shelters um, and homeless families. Um, we also have Community Connection, which works with schools, rec centers, and then we also have a training component that we train people all over the United States, we're even at the Peace Corps, uh, to do this curriculum with other children so that we can have an impact. Um, our mission is to help children rise above their adversity and have a promising future. That's great to hear, Kelly. Can you share, is there a particular story or two that really sticks out to you about how toys and play have helped make a difference um, in the lives of the children and family you support? Well, homeless children, as you know, uh, might come to a shelter like a domestic violence situation where they have nothing. And so providing toys for those children are so important. Um, just feeling so alone and having something that is their own is very, very important. Um, the other thing that we have found is that uh, to give children choices. At a shelter, you're told when to get up, what to eat, um, when to go to the restroom. So uh, having a choice of toys, we let the children sometimes choose their toys and that empowers them to have a choice, which is so important for these kids. One of the fondest memories I have um, was when we did, uh, we have a, uh, an event called uh, Saturday with Santa and Santa comes uh, to the event and we have toys. We have the parents shop for the toys to help empower them as well. And then we have volunteers wrap the toys. So the parents get also some choices. And this one, we were at this event and this little boy had moved about six times. He had been in six different shelters. And the good thing was that Rainbow Days was in all the shelters that he was at. However, he, uh, Santa was there and he was sitting on his lap and he looked up at Santa and said, I knew you wouldn't forget me. And it was so touching because even though everything he had been through, uh, it was a chance for the miracle of the season to happen at that moment where this child knew no matter where he was, that there was someone that remembered him. And that's what um, the toy industry and, and um, the toys help us keep that magic alive. And I really think it's important to let these kids know that they're not forgotten. I loved uh, when we were learning about your organization, the sort of, you know, very simple introduction ritual that you do every day where you have the sunshine in the cloud and we love I think for this audience to hear more about that I think it's just I don't know to us it struck us as super powerful and also something that like you know we all um you know as, as grown-ups could reflect on as well but um if you could talk more about that that would be awesome yes um our sunshine and cloud uh uh, ritual that we do uh we realized that we needed to provide an environment where children can share their feelings and not be judged when we do a sunshine and cloud um they they can, nobody can say anything you just listen and you can pass of course but it really helps the facilitator learn where the children are in their lives what are they dealing with like one time i came to group and i had a, a whole session planned on friendship well we were going around with sunshine and cloud as sunshine is something that you share that makes you happy and a cloud is something that made you sad or mad and the children were so mad because one of the kids got in trouble and they all got on lockdown and by knowing that I had to change my whole activity to change to make it be about feelings 
but it also gives us a chance for the children to learn that um, even though if we have clouds in our lives that they will go away like the next week or or, mm -hmm. or the road it shows them that there's hope and again that that that's why rainbow days was developed is to give these children hope uh, the sign of a rainbow is hope and so it's a chance for them to to see that yeah i'd love to hear more about you know the different play you know how these kids more about how the kids use these toys to really you know grow into themselves and become who they are <clears throat> one of our um, messages is i believe i have a purpose and so when we do that activity with the kids we want them to learn about that every person on this earth has a purpose and we tie that in with their dreams for their future we all can look back in our lives and i for i for myself remember that person or that teacher that maybe encouraged us to that you know your dream can come true and with toys that it, they can experiment with um, uh, hands-on toys um, toys they can manipulate toys that look like them toys that uh, have an occupation that's something they never knew about they can ask questions and they can learn that their futures are bright and that everyone has a purpose in life that is amazing. Thank you so much for walking us through, you know, these pieces. So we would love to know how um, you will use the donations that are coming from the Dallas Toy Fair um, and the donations of our industry um, to your organization uh, later this month. So we are so excited to be a part of this um, organization and partner with uh, the toy industry and Amazon. It's just, um, just so so wonderful to have uh, the support in our community. One of the things that we will be using the toys for is an event that we have in December and it's called Saturday with Santa. Uh, we will invite over 30 uh, shelters in the area, the D DFW area to come. And parents will actually go shopping for the toys for their children. And they'll get to pick out, uh, we'll have the toys in separate age groups and developmental, uh, 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 you know, developmental ages where, so the child, the parents, the volunteers might say, um, what age is your child? And the volunteer will take the parent to that specific area, have the parent uh, pick out a toy, have the volunteers uh, wrap the presents, and then the uh, we'll put them in a black bag where the parent, the children can't see what it is. <laughs> and uh, the parent will take it back on the bus and uh, hope and give it, give it to them on Christmas. So this is a, a big event that we have. We usually have like 500 attend uh, this event. And so uh, the toys are uh, just such a great part of this making them um, again I love the the magical season and letting um, that child know that Santa hasn't forgotten them no matter where they are in this world and no matter what they're going through that somebody cares about them and their community cares about them I would love to hear uh, is there anything you'd like to tell our industry about you know why their philanthropy is so important to organizations like Rainbow Days it's uh one of the things that we really uh, strive to do at Rainbow Days is provide new toys. Um, we want these kids to know that they're just as important as anyone else and deserve new things. So um, that's one thing that is is very uh, neat about um, partnering with um, the toy industry and Amazon because we can um, provide this for them. And the the variety of toys is something that is is very special to us and different age levels because as i said before we have uh we serve children um, from babies up to age 12 to 13 and to have a variety of toys provided to us is is just amazing um that that way that the parent can choose exactly what might be right for that child and then in groups when we give out toys we also our birthdays we want um, homeless children to 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 know that somebody uh, is thinking about them and we are able to provide something very special to them and it just the means the world to them they it brings such joy and happiness on their face that i can't even ex describe to you what uh, what a difference it makes in the life of a child I love it. Well, thank you so much for sharing these incredible stories and inputs on sort of the role of play and toys and really, you know, helping kids 
feel special and loved and, you know, that they are important. And we're just so proud to be able to help, um, help you in your journey and your mission and so thrilled to be a part of this. So we really appreciate um, your organization and your time. And I'm really excited on behalf of the Toy Foundation and the toy industry um, to help you, you know, deliver that magic uh, to kids this season. So thank you so very much. And we are truly honored to be a part of this. Thank you, Ann. And thank you, Taylor. We appreciate you.